It's Idea Sphere with attorney Elizabeth Schwartz before I do. What marriage equality has kind of brought to the fore has been this presumption that well, the only reason that you haven't gotten married yet is because you couldn't. And now that you can, certainly you will. Hello, I'm Guy Rothbun. Welcome to Idea Sphere, a platform for today's voices. It wasn't that long ago. Same-sex couples had to carefully work their way around the legal system. Although much has changed, there are still challenges. Attorney Elizabeth F. Schwartz responds to those issues in her book, Before I Do, A Legal Guide to Marriage, Gay and Otherwise. Schwartz is one of the nation's best-known advocates for the legal rights of the LGBT community, and she joins me for this program. Thank you for taking this time. Thanks for having me. In June of 2015, we had a Supreme Court ruling, Obergefell versus Hodges. Given that ruling, you and others still feel that there remains a number of issues that need addressing, hence the title, Before I Do. Absolutely. There is a lot to still discuss. And of course, you'd think that not one but two definitive U.S. Supreme Court rulings would put this issue to rest, right? Alas, the official Republican Party platform includes a commitment to reversing our nation's progress and eliminating marriage equality. In terms of our own LGBT community, we need to be sure we're looking before we leap. Yes, we've fought long and hard to win this much-deserved right to marriage equality, so we must treat this institution with the care it deserves and be sure that when we marry, we do it in the most thoughtful, most prudent manner possible. Of course, also for many gay couples, marriage did not come soon enough, and so we're dealing with the fallout of trying, as, as Cher might say, to turn back time. This book, you hope, is read by everyone heterosexuals and all, because there is a benefit for everyone. The book initially was written really almost entirely for the LGBT community with the understanding that many of us are getting marriage in a way that feels really sudden and that we never thought we would live to see in our lifetime. So this is something we need to learn more about before we jump into it. But as I was writing and talking to folks and exploring the issue, it became very clear that lots of straight folks also kind of jump into marriage without having a full sense of all of its legal consequences and emotional consequences. So that's why the subtitle became The Legal Guide to Marriage, Gay and Otherwise. <laughs> it really is a broader issue, for sure. As you express early in your book, it is very much the case of all marriages and all situations. One size does not fit all. It's one of the things that has been a great thing about same-sex couples is that we have defined our relationships in very different ways. And so I'm hopeful that as we leap into marriages, that we also realize one size does not fit all in terms of marriages. So what we need to do is ask ourselves a number of questions before we even walk the aisle, as you say. Definitely. You can't believe that some people just don't know these things about the person they're getting into a relationship with. You know, what kind of debt do you have? Have you ever been sued? Do you anticipate growing old where we live or would you want to move? Do you want children? Do you believe in monogamy? I mean, these are all questions that I have found folks have not discussed, did not know. These are surprises to people. So I try to give folks the benefit of my years of experience and my clients awful experiences and war stories and to hopefully avoid some of those similarly difficult situations. Elizabeth Schwartz, Before I Do, a legal guide to marriage, gay and otherwise. Check out our website at elizabethschwartz.com backslash before I do.